Hello everyone, once again welcome back. Today I am starting Unit 13, Amines. The chief commercial use of amines is as intermediates in the synthesis of medicines and fibers. Amines constitute an important class of organic compounds derived by replacing one or more hydrogen atoms of ammonia molecule by alkyl aryl groups. In nature, they occur among proteins, vitamins, alkaloids and hormones. Synthetic examples include polymers, dye stuffs and drugs. Two biologically active compounds namely adrenaline and ephedrine both containing secondary amino group are used to increase blood pressure. Novocaine a synthetic amino compound is used as an anesthetic in dentistry. Benadryl a well known antihistaminic drug also contains tertiary amino group. Quaternary ammonium salts are used as surfactants. Diazonium salts are intermediates in the preparation of a variety of aromatic compounds including dyes. In this unit, you will learn about amines and diazonium salt. Number 1. Amines Amines can be considered as derivatives of ammonia obtained by replacement of one, two or all the three hydrogen atoms by alkyl or aryl groups. For example, you can see here CH3NH2, C6H5NH2, CH3NHCH3 and CH3 and CH3 whole twice. 13.1 structure of amines. Like ammonia, nitrogen atom of amines is trivalent and carries an unshared pair of electrons. Nitrogen orbitals in amines are therefore sp3 hybridized and the geometry of amines is pyramidal. Each of the three sp3 hybridized orbitals of nitrogen overlap with orbitals of hydrogen or carbon depending upon the composition of the amines. The fourth orbital of nitrogen in all amines contains an unshared pair of electrons. Due to the presence of unshared pair of electrons, the angle C and E, where E, C or H is less than 109.5 degree. For instance, it is 108 degree in case of trimethylamine as shown in figure 13.1. Here you can see figure 13.1 pyramidal shape of trimethylamine. 13.2 classification. Amines are classified as primary, secondary and tertiary depending upon the number of hydrogen atoms replaced by alkyl or aryl groups in ammonia molecule. If one hydrogen atom of ammonia is replaced by R, we get RNH2 or ARNH2. A primary amine, if two hydrogen atoms of amine, ammonia are one hydrogen atom of RNH2 are replaced by another alkyl or aryl group, what would you get? You get RNH R dash secondary amine that is and the second alkyl aryl group may be same or different. Replacement of another hydrogen atom by alkyl or aryl group leads to the formation of tertiary amines. Amines are said to be simple when all the alkyl or aryl groups are the same and mixed when they are different. Here you can see the structure of primary, secondary and tertiary amine. 13.3 Nomenclature in common system, an aliphatic amine is named by prefixing alkyl group to amine that is alkyl amine. Its example is methylamine. In secondary and tertiary amines, when two or more groups are the same, the prefix di or tri is appended before the name of alkyl group. In IUPAC system, primary amines are named as alkanamines. The name is derived by replacement of E of alkane by the word amine. For example, CH3NH2 is named as methanamine. In case more than one amino group is present at different positions in the parent chain, their positions are specified by giving numbers to carbon atoms bearing NH2 groups and suitable prefix such as di, tri, etc. is attached to the amine. The letter E of the suffix of the hydrocarbon part is retained. For example, NH2, CH2, CH2, NH2 is named as ethane 1,2 diamine. To name secondary and tertiary amines, we use locant N to designate substituent attached to a nitrogen atom. For example, CH3, NH, CH2, CH3 is named as N methylanamine and CH3, CH2 whole thrice N is named as N, N diethylanamine. More examples are given in table 13.1. In aryl amines, NH2 group is directly attached to the benzene ring. C6H5NH2 is the simplest example of aryl amine. 
In common system, it is known as aniline. It is also an accepted IUPAC name. While naming arylanamines, according to IUPAC system, suffix E of arene is replaced by amine. Thus, in IUPAC system, C6H5NH2 is named as benzenamine. Common and IUPAC names of some alkylamines and arylamines are given in table 13.1. Here you can see the structure and common name and IUPAC name. I am reading common name and then after IUPAC name. Ethylamine, ethanamine. N-propylamine, propane-1-amine. Isopropylamine, propane-2-amine. Ethyl-methyl-amine, N-methyl-ethanamine. Trimethylamine, N-dimethyl-methanamine. N comma N diethyl butylamine, N comma N diethyl butane 1 amine. Allylamine, propane 2 N 1 amine. Hexamethylenodiamine, hexane 1 comma 6 diamine. Aniline, aniline or benzenamine. Orthotoludine, 2 methyl aniline. Para bromoaniline, 4 bromobenzanamine or 4 bromoaniline n comma n dimethylanaline n comma n dimethylbenzenamine 13.4 preparation of amines amines are prepared by the following methods number 1 reduction of nitro compounds nitro compounds are reduced to amines by passing hydrogen gas in the presence of final divided nickel palladium or platinum and also by reduction with metals in acidic medium. Nitroalkanes can also be similarly reduced to the corresponding alkylamines. Here you can see both reactions. Reduction with iron scrap and hydrochloric acid is preferred because FeCl2 formed gets hydrolyzed to release hydrochloric acid during the reaction. Thus only a small amount of hydrochloric acid is required to initiate the reaction. Number 2. Ammonolysis of alkyl halides. You have read Unit 10 Class 12 that the carbon halogen bond in alkyl or benzyl halides can be easily cleaved by a nucleophile. Hence, an alkyl or benzyl halide on reaction with an ethanolic solution of ammonia undergoes nucleophilic substitution reaction in which the halogen atom is replaced by an amino group. This process of cleavage of CX bond by ammonia molecule is known as ammonolysis. The reaction is carried out in sealed tube at 373 Kelvin. The primary amine thus obtained behaves as nucleophile and can further react with alkyl halide to form secondary and tertiary amines and finally quaternary ammonium salt. Here you can see the nucleophile and the substituted ammonium salt. The free amine can be obtained from the ammonium salt by treatment with a strong base. Here you can see the reaction related with that. RNH3X plus NaOH gives out RNH2 plus H2O plus NaX. Ammonolysis has the disadvantage of yielding a mixture of primary, secondary and tertiary amines and also a quaternary ammonium salt. However, primary amine is obtained as a major product by taking large excess of ammonia. The order of reactivity of halides with amines is Ri is greater than RBr is greater than RCl. Number third, reduction of nitriles. Nitriles on reduction with lithium aluminium hydride or catalytic hydrogenation produce primary amines. This reaction is used for ascent of amine series that is for preparation of amines containing one carbon atom more than the starting amine. RCN in the presence of H2 or nickel and NaHD or C2H5OH it is forming RCH2NH2. Number 4. Reduction of amides. The amides on reduction with lithium aluminium hydride yield amines and here you can see this reaction RCONH2 in the presence of LiLH4 H2O and it is forming RCH2 NH2. Number 5. Gabriel thalamide synthesis. Gabriel synthesis is used for preparation of primary amines. Thalamide on treatment with ethanolic potassium hydroxide forms potassium salt of thalamide which on heating with alkyl halide followed by alkaline hydrolysis produces the corresponding primary amine. Aromatic primary amines cannot be prepared by this method because aryl halides do not undergo nucleophilic substitution with the anion formed by thalamide. 
here you can see that thalamide is forming an alkyl thalamide and then after it is forming in the last the primary amine and also this product in the presence of NaOH aqueous. Number six, Hoffman bromamide degradation reaction. Hoffman developed a method for preparation of primary amines by treating an amide with bromine in an aqueous or ethanolic solution of sodium hydroxide. In this degradation reaction, migration of an alkyl or aryl group takes place from carbonyl carbon of the amide to the nitrogen atom. The amine is so formed contains one carbon less than that of present in the amide. Here is the reaction RCONH2 plus Br2 plus 4NaOH is forming RNH2 plus Na2CO3 plus 2NaBr plus 2H2O. 13.5 Physical Properties The lower aliphatic amines are gases with fishy order. Primary amines with three or more carbon atoms are liquid and still higher ones are solid. Aniline and other aryl-amines are usually colorless but get colored on storage due to atmospheric oxidation. Lower aliphatic amines are soluble in water because they can form hydrogen bonds with the water molecules. However, solubility decreases with increase in molar mass of amines due to increase in size of the hydrophobic alkyl part. Higher amines are essentially insoluble in water. Considering the electronegativity of nitrogen of amine and oxygen of alcohol, as 3 and 3.5 respectively. You can predict the pattern of solubility of amines and alcohols in water. Out of butane 1 all and butane 1 amine, which will be more soluble in water and why? Amines are soluble in organic solvents like alcohol, ether and benzene. You may remember that alcohols are more polar than amines and form stronger intermolecular hydrogen bonds than amines. Primary and secondary amines are engaged in intermolecular association due to hydrogen bonding between nitrogen of one and hydrogen of another molecule. This intermolecular association is more in primary amines than in secondary amines as there are two hydrogen atoms available for hydrogen bond formation in it. Tertiary amines do not have intermolecular association due to the absence of hydrogen atom available for hydrogen bond formation. Therefore, the order of boiling points of isomeric amines is as follows. Primary is greater than secondary is greater than tertiary. Intermolecular hydrogen bonding in primary amine is shown in figure 13.2. Here you can see intermolecular hydrogen bonding in primary amines. Boiling point of amines, alcohols and alkanes of almost the same molar mass are shown in table 13.2. And here is the comparison of boiling points of amines, alcohols and alkanes of similar molecular masses. 13.6 Chemical Reaction Difference in electronegativity between nitrogen and hydrogen atoms and the presence of unshared pair of electrons over the nitrogen atom makes amines reactive. The number of hydrogen atoms attached to nitrogen atom also decides the course or reaction of amines that is why primary Secondary and tertiary amines differ in many reactions. Moreover, amines behave as nucleophiles due to the presence of unshared electron pair. Some of the reactions of amines are described below. Number 1. Basic character of amines. Amines being basic in nature react with acids to form salts. Here you can see aniline with HCl is forming anilinium chloride. Amine salts on treatment with a base like NaOH regenerate the parent amine. RNH3X plus OH gives out RNH2 plus H2O plus X. Amine salts are soluble in water but insoluble in organic solvents like ether. This reaction is the basis for the separation of amines from the non-basic organic compounds insoluble in water. The reaction of amines with mineral acids to form ammonium salt shows that these are basic in nature. Amines have an unshared pair of electrons or nitrogen atom due to which they behave like Lewis base. Basic character of amines can be better understood in terms of their Kb and Pkb values as explained below. Here you can see the value. Pkb is equals to minus log Kb and the value of Kb is equals to RNH3 OH upon RNH2. Larger the value of Kb or smaller the value of Pkb, stronger is the base. The Pkb value of few amines are given in table 13.3. Pkb value of ammonia is 4.75. 
एलिफेटिक अमीन आर ए स्ट्रॉगर बेसिस दैन अमोनिया ड्यू टू प्लस साई इफेक्ट ऑफ एल्काइल ग्रुप लीडिंग टू हाई इलेक्ट्रॉन डेंसिटी ऑन द नाइट्रोजन एटम देयर पी के बी वैल्यूज लाई इन द रेंज ऑफ थ्री टू फोर पॉइंट टू टू ऑन द अदर हैंड एरोमेटिक अमीन आर वीकर बेसिस दैन अमोनिया ड्यू टू इलेक्ट्रॉन विद ड्रॉइंग नेचर ऑफ द एराइल ग्रुप हे यू कैन सी टेबल थर्टीन पॉइंट थ्री पी के बी वैल्यू ऑफ अमीन इन एक्वस फेजेस मिथेन अमीन थ्री पॉइंट थ्री एट एंड मिथाइल मिथेन अमीन थ्री पॉइंट टू सेवन एंड कॉमा एन डाई मिथाइल मिथेन अमीन फोर पॉइंट टू टू इथेन अमीन थ्री पॉइंट टू नाइन एंड इथाइल इथेन अमीन थ्री एंड कॉमा एन डाई इथाइल इथेन अमीन थ्री पॉइंट टू फाइव बेंजन अमीन नाइन पॉइंट थ्री एट फिनाइल मिथेन अमीन फोर पॉइंट सेवन जीरो एंड मिथाइल एनिलीन नाइन पॉइंट थ्री जीरो एंड कॉमा एन डाई मिथाइल एनिलीन एट पॉइंट नाइन टू You may find some discrepancies while trying to interpret the KB values of amines on the basis of plus i or minus i effect of the substituents present in amines. Besides inductive effect, there are other effects like solvation effect, steric hindrance, etc., which affect the basic strength of amines. Just ponder over. You may get the answer in the following paragraphs. The structure basicity relationship of amines. Basicity of amines is related to their structure. Basic character of an amine depends upon the ease of formation of the cation by accepting a proton from the acid. The more stable the cation is relative to the amine, more basic is the amine. A. Alkanamines versus ammonia. Let us consider the reaction of an alkanamine and ammonia with a proton to compare their basicity. Here you can see the reaction. Due to the electron releasing nature of alkyl group, it R pushes electrons towards nitrogen and thus makes the unshared electron pair more available for sharing with the proton of the acid. Moreover, the substituted ammonium ion formed from the amine gets stabilized due to dispersal of the positive charge by the plus i effect of the alkyl group. Hence, alkyl amines are a stronger basis than ammonia. Thus, the basic nature of aliphatic amines should increase with the increase in number of alkyl groups. This trend is followed in the gaseous phase. The order of basicity of amines in the gaseous phase follows the expected order. Tertiary amine, secondary amine. Tertiary amine is greater than secondary amine is greater than primary amine and that is greater than NH3. The trend is not regular in the aqueous state as evident by their pKb values given in table 13.3. In the aqueous phase, the substituted ammonium cations get established not only by electron releasing effect of the alkyl group, but also by solvation with water molecules. The greater the size of the ion, lesser will be the solvation, and the less stabilized is the ion. The order of stability of the ions are as follows. Here you can see the decreasing order of extent of hydrogen bonding in water and order of stability of ions by solvation. Greater is the stability of the substituted ammonium cation, stronger should be the corresponding amine as base. Thus, the order of basicity of aliphatic amine should be primary is greater than secondary is greater than tertiary, which is opposite to the inductive effect based order. Secondly, when the alkyl group is a small like CH3 group, there is no steric hindrance to hydrogen bonding. In case the alkyl group is bigger than CH3 group, there will be steric hindrance to hydrogen bonding. Therefore, the change of nature of the alkyl group, example, from CH3 to C2H5 results in the change of the order of basic strength. Thus, there is a subtle interplay of the inductive effect, solvation effect and steric hindrance of the alkyl group, which decides the basic strength of alkyl amines in the aqueous state. The order of basic strength in case of methyl substituted amines and ethyl substituted amines in aqueous solution is as follow. C2H5 whole twice NH is greater than C2H5 whole thrice N is greater than C2H5 NH2 is greater than NH3. CH3 whole twice NH is greater than CH3 NH2 is greater than CH3 whole thrice N is greater than NH3. B. Arylamines versus ammonia. PKB value of aniline is quite high. Why is it so? It is because in aniline or other aryl amines, the NH2 group is attached directly to the benzene ring. 
It results in the unshared electron pair on nitrogen atom to be in conjugation with the benzene ring and thus making it less available for protonation. If you write different resonating structures of aniline, you will find that aniline is a resonance hybrid of the following five structures. Here you can see all the five structures. On the other hand, anilinium ion obtained by accepting a proton can have only two resonating structure. We know that greater the number of resonating structure, greater is the stability. Thus, you can infer that aniline 5 resonating structure is more stable than anilinium ion. Hence, the proton acceptability or the basic nature of aniline or other aromatic amines would be less than that of ammonia. In case of substituted aniline, it is observed that electron releasing groups like OCH3, CH3 increase basic strength whereas electron withdrawing groups like NO2, SO3H, COH, X decrease it. Number 2 Alkylation Amines undergo alkylation on reaction with alkyl halides. Number 3 Acylation Aliphatic and aromatic primary and secondary amines react with acid chlorides and hydrides and esters by nucleophilic substitution reaction. This reaction is known as acylation. You can consider this reaction as the replacement of hydrogen atom of NH2 or NH group by the acyl group. The products obtained by acylation reaction are known as amides. The reaction is carried out in the presence of a base stronger than the amine like pyridine which removes HCl so formed and shifts the equilibrium to the right hand side. Here you can see ethanamine then after n ethylenethanamide, n ethylenethanamine, n comma n diethylenethanamide and benzenamide then after ethanoic anhydride and it is forming and phenylethanamide or amines also react with benzoyl chloride that is C6H5COCl. This reaction is known as benzoylation. CH3NH2 plus C6H5COCl gives out CH3NHCO6 C6H5 plus HCl that is methanamine plus benzoyl chloride is forming and methyl benzamide. What do you think is the product of the reaction of amines with the carboxylic acids? They form salts with amines at room temperature. Number 4. Carbylamine reaction. Aliphatic and aromatic primary amines on heating with chloroform and ethanolic potassium hydroxide form isocyanides or carbylamines which are false smelling substances. Secondary and tertiary amines do not show this reaction. This reaction is known as carbylamine reaction or isocyanide test and is used as a test for primary amines. RNH2 plus CHCl3 plus 3KOH on heating it is forming RNC 3KCl plus 3H2O. Number 5 reaction with nitrous acid. Three classes of amines react differently with nitrous acid which is prepared in situ from a mineral acid and sodium nitrite. A. Primary aliphatic amines react with nitrous acid to form aliphatic diazonium salts which being unstable, liberate nitrogen gas quantitatively and alcohols. Quantitative evolution of nitrogen is used in estimation of amino acids and proteins. RNH2 plus HNO2 in the presence of NaNO2 plus HCl it is forming RN2Cl and in presence of H2O it is forming ROH plus N2 plus HCl. B. Aromatic amines react with nitrous acid at low temperature. That temperature is 273 to 278 Kelvin to form diazonium salts, a very important class of compounds used for synthesis of a variety of aromatic compounds discussed in section 13.7. C6H5NH2 that is aniline in the presence of NaNO2 plus 2HCl at 273 to 278 Kelvin it is forming benzene diazonium chloride that is C6H5N2Cl plus NaCl plus 2H2O. Secondary and tertiary amines react with nitrous acid in a different manner. Number 6. Reaction with aryl sulfonyl chloride. Benzene sulfonyl chloride C6H5SO2Cl which is also known as Hensburg's reagent reacts with primary and secondary amines to form sulfonamides. A. The reaction of benzene sulfonyl chloride with primary amine yields an ethyl benzene sulfonyl amide. Here you can see this reaction. 
द हाइड्रोजन अटैच टू नाइट्रोजन इन सल्फोनाइड इज स्ट्रॉन्गली एसिडिक ड्यू टू द प्रेजेंस ऑफ ए स्ट्रॉन्ग इलेक्ट्रॉन विद ड्रॉइंग सल्फोनल ग्रुप हेंस इट इज सोलबल इन एल्कली बी इन द रिएक्शन विद सेकेंडरी अमीन एन कॉमा एन डाई इथाइल बेंजीन सल्फोनाइड इज फॉर्म्ड हेयर यू कैन सी दिस रिएक्शन Since n comma n diethyl benzene sulfonamide does not contain any hydrogen atom attached to nitrogen atom, it is not acidic and hence insoluble in alkali. C. Tertiary amines do not react with benzene sulfonyl chloride. This property of amines reacting with benzene sulfonyl chloride in a different manner is used for the distinction of primary, secondary, and tertiary amines, and also for the separation of mixture of amines. However, these days benzene sulfonyl chloride is replaced by para toluene sulfonyl chloride. Number seven, electrophilic substitution. You have read earlier that aniline is a resonance hybrid of five structures. Where do you find the maximum electron density in these structures? Ortho and para position to the NH2 group become centers of the high electron density. Thus, NH2 group is ortho and para directing and a powerful activating group. A bromination aniline reacts with bromine water at room temperature to give a white precipitate of 2,4,6 tribromoaniline here you can see this reaction the main problem encountered during electrophilic substitution reaction of aromatic amines is that of their very high reactivity substitution tend to occur at ortho and para positions if we have to prepare mono substituted aniline derivative how can the activating effect of nh2 group be controlled This can be done by protecting the NH2 group by acetylation with acetic anhydride. Then carrying out the desired substitution followed by hydrolysis of the substituted amide to the substituted amine. Here you can see this reaction where aniline is forming the N-phenylethanamide that is acetanalate and the final product is the 4-bromoaniline. The lone pair of electrons on nitrogen of acetanalide interacts with oxygen atom due to resonance as given below. Here you can see this structure. Hence the lone pair of electrons on nitrogen is less available for donation to benzene ring by resonance. Therefore activating effect of NH-COCH3 group is less than that of amino group. B nitration Direct nitration of aniline yields steady oxidation products in addition to the nitro derivatives. Moreover, in the strongly acidic medium, aniline is protonated to form the anilinium ion which is meta-directing. That is why besides the ortho and para derivatives, significant amount of meta-derivative is also formed. Here you can see this reaction. However, by protecting the NH2 group by acetylation reaction with acetic anhydride, the nitration reaction can be controlled and the para nitro derivative can be obtained as the major product. Here you can see this reaction where acetanilate is forming para nitro acetanilate and para nitro aniline. C. Sulfonation. Aniline reacts with concentrated sulfuric acid to form anilinium hydrogen sulfate which on heating with sulfuric acid at 453 to 473 kelvin produces para amino benzene sulfonic acid commonly known as sulfanilic acid as the major product here you can see this reaction where anilinium hydrogen sulfate at 453 to 473 kelvin is forming sulfanilic acid and Aniline does not undergo Friedel-Crafts reaction that is alkylation and acetylation due to salt formation with aluminum chloride the lewis acid which is used as a catalyst due to this nitrogen of aniline acquires positive charge and hence act as a strong deactivating group for further reaction Number 2 diazonium salts the diazonium salts have the general formula RN2X where R stands for an aryl group and X ion may be chloride bromine HSO4 BF4 etc they are named by suffixing diazonium to the name of the parent hydrocarbon from which they are formed followed by the name of an ion such as chloride hydrogen sulfate etc the nitrogen group is called diazonium group for example c6h5n2cl is named as benzene diazonium chloride and c6h5n2hso4 negative is known as benzene diazonium hydrogen sulfate primary aliphatic amines form highly unstable alkyl diazonium salts 
Primary aromatic amines form arene diazonium salts which are stable for a short time in solution at low temperatures. The stability of arene diazonium ion is explained on the basis of resonance. 13.7 Method of Preparation of Diazonium Salts Benzene diazonium chloride is prepared by the reaction of aniline with nitrous acid at 273 to 278 Kelvin. Nitrate acid is produced in the reaction mixture by the reaction of sodium nitrite with hydrochloric acid. The conversion of primary aromatic amines into diazonium salt is known as diazotization. Due to its instability, the diazonium salt is not generally stored and is used immediately after its preparation. C6H5NH2 plus NaNO2 plus 2HCl in the temperature 273 to 278 Kelvin, it is forming C6H5N2Cl plus NaCl plus 2H2O. 13.8 Physical Properties Benzene diazonium chloride is a colorless crystalline solid. It is readily soluble in water and is stable in cold but reacts with water when warmed. It decomposes easily in the dry state. Benzene diazonium fluoroborate is water insoluble and is stable at room temperature. 13.9 Chemical Reactions The reaction of diazonium salt can be broadly divided into two categories, namely a reaction involving displacement of nitrogen and the reaction involving retention of diazo group. A. Reactions involving displacement of nitrogen. Diazonium group being a very good leaving group is substituted by other groups such as chloride, bromide, iodide, CN negative and OH which displace nitrogen from the aromatic ring. The nitrogen formed escapes from the reaction mixture as a gas. Number 1. Replacement by halide or cyanide ion. The chloride, bromide and cyanide nucleophiles can easily be introduced in the benzene ring in the presence of CuI ion. This reaction is called the Sandmeyer reaction. Here you can see the reaction. Alternatively, chlorine or bromine can also be introduced in the benzene ring by treating the diazonium salt solution with corresponding halogen acid in the presence of copper powder. This is referred as Gartermann reaction. Here I am showing you this reaction also. The yield in Sandmeyer reaction is found to be better than Gartermann reaction. Number 2. Replacement by iodide ion. Iodine is not easily introduced into the benzene ring directly, but when the diazonium salt solution is treated with potassium iodide, iodobenzene is formed. Here you can see this reaction. Number third, replacement by fluoride ion. When arene diazonium chloride is treated with fluoroboric acid, arene diazonium fluoroborate is precipitated which on heating decomposes to yield aryl fluoride. This is the aryl fluoride. Number four, Replacement by hydrogen. Certain mild reducing agent like hypophosphorus acid that is the phosphonic acid or ethanol reduce diazonium salts to arenes and themselves get oxidized to phosphorus acid and ethanol respectively. The both reactions are here showing. Number 5. Replacement by hydroxyl group if the temperature of the diazonium salt solution is allowed to rise up to 283 Kelvin, the salt gets hydrolyzed to phenol. Here you can see this reaction, ARN2Cl plus H2O is forming AROH plus N2 plus HCl. 6. Replacement of NO2 group. When diazonium fluoroborate is heated with aqueous sodium nitrite solution in the presence of copper, the diazonium group is replaced by NO2 group. Here you can see this reaction B. Reactions involving retention of diazo group coupling reactions. The azo products obtained have an extended conjugate systems having both the aromatic rings joined through the N double bond N. These compounds are often colored and are used as dyes. Benzene diazonium chloride reacts with phenol in which the phenol molecule as its para position is coupled with the diazonium salt to form para hydroxy azobenzene. This type of reaction is known as coupling reaction. And similarly, the reaction of diazonium salt with aniline yields para amino azobenzene. This is an example of electrophilic substitution reaction, and the both reaction where the orange dye and the yellow dye forming, as you can see here. 13.10 Importance of diazonium salts in synthesis of aromatic compounds. From the above reaction, it is clear that the diazonium salts are very good intermediates for the introduction of fluoride, chloride, bromide, iodide, cyanide and OH NO2 groups into the aromatic ring. 
Aryl fluorides and iodides cannot be prepared direct halogenation. The cyano group cannot be introduced by nucleophilic substitution of chlorine in chlorobenzene, but cyanobenzene can be easily obtained from diazonium salt. Thus, the replacement of diazo group by other groups is helpful in preparing those substituted aromatic compounds which cannot be prepared by direct substitution in benzene or substituted benzene. Summary Amines can be considered as derivatives of ammonia obtained by replacement of hydrogen atoms with alkyl or aryl groups. Replacement of one hydrogen atom of ammonia give rise to structure of the type RnH2 known as primary amine. Secondary amines are characterized by the structure R2NH or RnHr- and tertiary amines by R3N, RnR- R double dash or R2NR dash. Secondary and tertiary amines are known as simple amines if the alkyl or aryl groups are the same and mixed amines if the groups are different. Like ammonia, all the three amines of amines have one unshared electron pair on nitrogen atom due to which they behave as Lewis bases. Amines are usually formed from nitrogen compounds, halides, amides, amides, etc. They exhibit hydrogen bonding which influence their physical properties. In alkylamines, a combination of electron releasing, steric and hydrogen bonding factors influence the stability of the substituted ammonium cations in protic polar solvents and thus affect the basic nature of amines. Alkylamines are found to be stronger bases than ammonia and in aromatic amines, electron releasing and withdrawing groups respectively increase and decrease their basic characters. Aniline is a weaker base than ammonia. Reaction of amines are governed by availability of the unshared pair of electrons on nitrogen. Influence of the number of hydrogen atoms at nitrogen atom on the type of reactions and nature of product is responsible for the identification and distinction between primary, secondary and tertiary amines. Paratoluene sulfonyl chloride is used for the identification of primary, secondary and tertiary amines. Presence of amino group in aromatic ring enhances reactivity of the aromatic amines. Reactivity of aromatic amines can be controlled by a silation process that is by treating with acetyl chloride or acetic anhydride. Tertiary amines like trimethylamine are used as insect attractants. Aryl diazonium salts usually obtained from aryl amines undergo replacement of diazonium group with a variety of nucleophiles to provide advantageous methods for producing aryl halides cyanides, phenols and arenes by reductive removal of the diazo group. Coupling reaction of aryl diazonium salts with phenols are aryl amines give rise to the formation of azo dyes. So here this chapter is done. See you soon in the next video. Take care everyone.